So I've previously talked about how we can set up a layout using Fireworks uh, CS4 and here we can see another little layout that I've set up and what I'm going to talk about in this video uh, is how we can actually set up some nice little rollover effects on various areas in our site design. So um, I'm going to add actually different rollover areas onto each of these different uh, bits of text here onto the title area there and I'll put something else over on here as well. It's quite simple to do really once you've got your page layout sort of set out and laid out like so what you need to do is simply go to the states section on the side over here and right click on state 1 and then duplicate that state. If you click OK you're now in state 2 and, and as you can see at the moment state 1 and state 2 are simply identical so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some things uh, in state 2 uh, and state 2 is the state that people will see when they roll over certain areas and aspects on your page so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the font colour here uh, to a bright colour uh, let's say a bright yellow and I will change uh, the writing here to a bright orange and if you don't know this already um, fireworks comes with a colour picker so rather than having to choose a colour from your panel here from your palette you can just choose a colour and you can see here as I move over different colours so the option choice changes. I'm going to go for an orange uh, just there uh, so there you go that's got an orange and over here what I'm going to do I'm going to put a little image on there as well and my image is going to be just a picture of Iggle Piggle that I've already grabbed and sorted out there. Note it came in with white here to remove the white I use the magic wand tool here you just simply click on the magic wand, click on the area around the outside and press delete and it will remove the different white areas to leave you with transparency behind and you'll know when it's gone transparent because you'll see that little checkerboard like you can see right now <coughs> anyway I'm going to copy that now so edit and copy uh, whack it onto my state 2 so I'm just going to edit and paste there it is, and I can't see it in front of the shape at the moment. I simply need to just go to here and uh, arrange and bring to front. No, there are there are other ways you can do that. Control Shift and arrow. Uh, it's also on the modify menu, like so. And uh, we can also see options here as well. So I bring him to the front. I'm just going to uh, resize him as well, make him a little bit smaller. Notice I can change the dimensions as well when I'm resizing. If I press sh the shift key while I do that the image will actually maintain its proportions and that makes it look a little bit more uh, natural when you resize something. Uh, I'm quite happy with how that looks on there but I'm just going to uh, rotate it using the free transform tool and again I can do that modify transform or I can press Control and T to do that and that will enable me, enable me to now be able to rotate my little iggle pickle around like so. So I'm happy with where he's at now and I'm happy with everything in state 2 and as you can now see state 1 looks like this and state 2 looks like that. All we need to do now is set up our areas, our active areas on our main page to tell fireworks that when we're going to view this as a web page something slightly different needs to happen when we roll our mouse over these different areas. So we do, we go to our web options down here on the left hand side and we want the slice tool and basically you want to set up a slice which is a shape over the top of the area where the potential uh, change might happen. So I want whenever I move a mouse over here for Iggle Piggle to appear. So if I move my mouse onto here, he would appear then and then and then and then so forth and so on. And to tell Fireworks that it's a rollover we're putting on there, we can right click and just choose Add Simple Rollover Behavior. As you'll see, there are some other options that you can have a little look at and play around with on there. But today we're going to look, in this video at least, at Simple Rollover Behaviors. So we click on there and we repeat that process 
all the way across in the different areas where we want the rollover effect to work. So you sit your slice up like that, right click, add simple rollover behavior, putting that all over the different areas. Make sure okay, that your slice covers the entire area that you want to appear differently from the second state. Make sure you do that. For example, if I was to put a glow on the second state and have my slice like this, you can see the bit of the glow is underneath. Now, if that was different on state two, that wouldn't appear when you rolled over it. So you'd need to make your... Um, slice a little bit bigger like I'm doing now in order for that to actually occur. Add simple rollover behaviour there and having all these slices everywhere can make your page a little bit um, sort of congested, quite busy so you can actually hide those slices at any time by choosing the hide slices and hot spots there. So it looks exactly as it did before now but if I go back onto here on the show slices and hot spots you can see they've actually come back up. And to see that working, if we go to the preview section here, we can now roll our mouse over the rollover areas, and we will see the rollover effects actually working, like they would when we'd finished the sites off and exported it out. And that is how we set up rollovers and get them working in Fireworks CS4. Thank you.